guys at this point i had finished checking my bags and filling the embarkation uh form it's embarkation <laughs> form that's the form the yellow card i have in my passport there at this point to add finish my clearance from the immigration point and also from the fan point where you check your luggage and all so i'm just walking to where i'm going to board the aircraft for south african airways so let's go do this <laughs> And guys, one very important thing I have to mention to you is that if you're flying with South African Airways and your uh, flight ticket is showing two pieces, that means you're entitled to 23 kg each for each bag. So every of your bag must weigh nothing more than 23 kg. If you have one bag weighing more than 23 kg, you will have to remove stuff from there and maybe add it to the other bag that's what i had to do to mine one was weighing more than 23 the other one was weighing less than 23 i had to make sure it's that and then i think the uh, hand luggage also has a particular weight but i didn't really get that because mine was just fine so it's just my system and just few documents so this is me walking to my seat i was trying to look at my seat So I'm here seated at the, in the aircraft. This is the blanket and pillow they gave to us. For your convenience, the use of mobile phones, e-readers, electronic tablets and laptops is permitted on the ground while the aircraft doors are open. okay so will i say fortunately or unfortunately i wasn't given a window seat which i would have loved so much but i still loved my seat anyways i took out time to go through the safety on board and i was like wow this aircraft is so big the airbus a330 is actually a very big one and on my room in fact i think i was the only one i was the only one on the middle row i was the only one sitting just at my own side and even before we took off they had to give us this pack where you have a toothbrush a toothpaste napkins and all even before we started the flight because it was going to be a night flight obviously they were preparing us for the move For me personally, I always love to check out the altitude we are flying in, you know, the speed and also the type of destination, like at what time I'm going to arrive at our destination. So I kept on checking this all through the journey. You can see we are flying at 38,000 feet. They change it, you can see that 8,962 feet. It's always alternating between feet and meters. have dinner i opted for chicken so we had chicken and potatoes there then they give us bread with some salad and uh, cake they give us cake there and uh, what else was left they give us some cheese just cheese and biscuit on that plate with some salted butter just to be able to enjoy the meal 
I was really tired. I was eating and sleeping basically. <laughs> Seriously. I was really sleepy. I think the cabin crew had to wake me up like how many times? What do you want? What do you want? So friends, while eating, I finally decided to watch a movie and this movie was called Never too late. I think not too late and never too late. Something of that nature. I actually enjoyed the movie, but I slept off again. <laughs> So guys, immediately I arrived, I took some pictures, I connected to the airport Wi-Fi, tried to call my people that have arrived and waited for my pickup. So that's what I did and now straight to the residence.